Hey everybody, Ed Rosenberger here to help you uh, understand how your work will be presented at the Salt Lake Community College Art Showcase. We have some new panels. They display the work very nicely, but it, there's a few tricks and tips to make sure you're ready to go for that method. We've included some imagery here to help you understand that process so that you're best prepared. Primarily, there's four major ways that we're going to show work. Obviously, if your work is three-dimensional, such as design, uh, packaging, those kinds of things, they will be in a display case or presented uh, in the floor space area. Three-dimensional pieces are displayed, such as jewelry, sculpture. Depending on the size of the piece, if it's a large three-dimensional piece, we'll use the floor space in the multi-purpose room to present. If they're smaller items, they'll be in display cases. If you're doing web design, presenting animation or video clips, those need to be uh, presented on a video uh, link to either YouTube or Vimeo or web, web design link. Um, Chad or Andrew will have even more specific instructions for you if you have questions regarding that. If you're presenting drawings on a single sheet of paper, we're going to present the work on the panels, but we're going to adhere them with uh, tiny pieces of putty, and we're going to be very careful not to damage your, your sheet of paper that your artwork is drawn on, or sketched on, or, or painted on. But that's just for single sheet pieces of work. Everything else, photographs, paintings, other types of media, need to either have a wire, or Bear in mind that we're going to use a binder clip to present and hang off the hooks. So if you look at some of the imagery that uh, goes along with this voiceover, you'll see that we have some photographs hanging by wire. And we can adjust the height. We can present the work that way. And if you look at one of the details, it shows you how the hook works. Now, a lot of standard frames come with a what they call a sawtooth mechanism usually cleated to the top edge of a frame. Those are designed for nails and we're not able to use any nails on these panels. So you must have a wire on the back of your frame. So if you buy a prefab frame for your artwork, you need to make sure that there's a wire available on the back. If there's no wire there, we cannot hang your work. The hooks are too big for that sawtooth uh, mounting clip that's on the back of your frame. If you have a photograph, graphic design that's mounted to a mat board. We're going to use a binder clip that will then clip onto the top of the mat board or mount board and then hang from the hook. Finally, in closing, just make sure you keep it simple. The pictures in this uh, quick video illustrate how simple the presentation is. The idea is that you want to separate your artwork from the surrounding area and the clutter and the busyness. So if you keep your framing and your mat board, your over mats, your mounting, all of that as simple as possible, then your work will stand out and uh, present itself very well. Good luck. Thanks for watching.